Hello everybody. I just wanted to do a quick painting with you really quickly. I know with the holidays, um, the time to be able to do videos or go live or do any of those fun things has been really limited. Um, so I've already been making a mess all day as you can see all this. Please disregard that. I um, painted last night and I think I did that on a silent video that I'll, I'll post. Um, but anyway, the paint's not dry, so I just covered it up with wax paper and there's stuff kind of everywhere. Um, I am doing a 10 by 10, just regular uh, prepped canvas. I have painter's tape on the back and I use these little push pins, which are really helpful, uh, make it a lot easier to tilt without touching the sides. It also makes it easy if you varnish. Sometimes I just spray varnish some of these. Um, so it makes it a little bit easy to just grab it at an angle and take care of it really quick. Um, sometimes these canvases need to be tightened a little bit too. So I have um, filtered water in a little spray bottle and I'll just spray the back and rub it with my hands. Um, before you start painting on it, you want it to sound like a drum. So this is kind of what you want it to sound like. It sounds a little different, right? But if it sounds loose, it needs a little water, takes almost no time at all. And then I usually spray the corners with just a light mist. So tonight what I wanted to do is a tree ring pour with the Artist Loft pouring paints, the pre-mixed pouring paints. And I wanted to do just primary colors. I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, so just yellow, and red and blue and white and um i did i did a paint paint pour with them last night and what i had in mind didn't entirely pan out but i think it still turned out nice so but what i'm gonna do is a reca ring pour which is something i learned from molly from molly's artistry and i will try to link her channel below um, she's a fabulous artist and she's actually one of the first ones I watched when I started getting into fluid art. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Anyway, it's just kind of a cool version of a ring pour. I love tree ring pours. They're so much fun and this paint is fabulous for those because your paint doesn't muddy as much. Um, it does a little bit. Last night I got the black and the yellow close together and I didn't think they would do that as much as they did and they did a little bit. So I'm still kind of careful about what colors I put next to each other but it's not near as challenging as you know regular uh, paint pouring because of the medium that they have in there. It makes it a little bit easier for them to stay distinct. So you still get these really cool lines. Um, I might be using too much paint. This is a 10 by 10, which I may have already told you that. But I figured it would be a fun, quick painting. I might be out of the frame, sorry. So I'm basically just going and layering by pouring in down the side. I don't have the steadiest hand for tree ring pours, but these paints are rather forgiving. These paints have not been in stock as much lately. I'm starting to see them come back. I know there's been rumors that they're gonna discontinue them. I've never heard that from an actual source at Michael's or anything. And they did start to restock some. I, what they told me in the store is that they were, um, people were buying them like crazy to make ornaments, which makes sense. Um, so I'm hoping that they're not gonna discontinue them. I reached out to them directly because I was waiting to do a project with some and I was like, are you guys ever going to get this back in stock? And I had to go a different direction, but it worked out. But they are starting to get them back in stock. So um, what I love about them is for one, they are, they're expensive. So buy them with a coupon. But what I love about them is they have this really beautiful shine because of the pouring medium and they dry really glossy. They do sometimes dry darker than when you first pour them. Let me get my torch because I do see some bubbles. All right. 
So I'm gonna start as close to the middle as I can. I got it a little bit full. And I'm not super worried about it being perfect. You see it's starting to blend a little bit. I probably got a little bit too much paint. I don't do the greatest job with the center. I'm losing really good paint here. I'm just gonna use this to help it move. Okay, I better move quickly because all my beautiful paint is coming off the side. So essentially, she just goes like this. And she basically just wrecks it. So then when you tilt it, it's not going to be a perfect circle anymore. <coughs> Sorry about my dogs. My husband may be home. That may be what they're crying about. <coughs> Shh. They're fierce, you know. And so you don't want to tilt too fast. Kind of looks like a starfish. You can see how the paints don't muddy too badly, and we basically just use that extra paint to cover the corner so we wouldn't have to overstretch the canvas. We'll kind of do the same here just to make sure that it gets covered. Helps it move a little easier. That's not going to stay on there, don't worry. They're like, it doesn't match. And it doesn't. Trust me, that would bother me too. But see how vibrant and pretty they are? And the cool thing is, Sorry, now my dogs have their bones. They don't play with them at all until we're trying to do something with no background noise. But maybe they're just showing off for you guys. And I forgot to torch the bubbles out, so that's fun. I don't like this section as much as I like some of the other ones, so I'm gonna, if I have to overstretch part, I will stretch this part off. So, I don't necessarily want it to stay like a starfish, so I'm going to kind of intentionally make it a little bit off kilter. So I don't love the way the colors blended. I think it could have been a lot prettier. My favorite part is down here. So I think that we will exaggerate that part of the piece and because I didn't tor torch those air bubbles out I'm not going to do it now because they'll pop in a weird way ideally I should have torched them when we poured before we stretched um, but I got a little bit rushed when we were losing so much of the good part of the painting off to the side and I just poured a lot of the good part off now I do have a corner that's a little bit messed up here and instead of overstretching, I'm gonna grab some color and I'm gonna, that didn't really work out. Um, let's see if I can just pour some of the excess that's in the cup right here without totally destroying that design. That actually worked out okay. And I'm gonna do the same for this corner because for the most part, it can be stretched off. And then the rest of it, I can just dab. Um, and the next thing that we'll do is just check and make sure it's clean on the sides. I try to kind of clean the drippage off the bottom. I don't like how it got kind of gray. That was not something I was expecting at all. Um, because the white with the blue usually just makes this really pretty blue color, which is right here that I love so much. I think that is the prettiest part of the painting right there. Um, I don't really understand why we have gray because the purple should have been the outcome of the red and the um, glue together not this weird gray color so that's pretty strange but 
other than this corner that doesn't match the rest of its friends. It's not too bad. Um, but what's fun about these paints is, for one, if you're just starting out and you don't want to deal with learning tons about mixing paint, it's a really good way to start out. Um, there's nothing that's not muddy, I don't understand. Um, it's a really good way to start out and it's um, they're really fun and easy to use. So um, you don't, part of what's annoying about pouring is you spend a lot of time mixing paint. I mean, it just comes with the territory. You learn to enjoy it and enjoy the process. But um, oh, you spend way more time mixing paint than you do actually pouring. So this allows you to kind of get the experience, see if you're going to enjoy it. It is not inexpensive for sure. Um, that's why I don't ever get these paints unless we have a 50% off coupon. Because then I think retail in the United States anyway, they're like $14.99. Um, but I mean, they have pouring medium in them. So if you think about, you don't have to put any flow trawl or water or whatever. So that is a benefit. Um, can't decide if I just want to leave that like that. I kind of want to make this a little bit more off kilter so it doesn't look like there's a straight line down the middle. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Feels like that's not helping anything. I guess I could wreck it some more, but I'm kind of afraid to mess with it. I still like it. Really tempted to, like, I think I tilted one of the little angles off. And so now it, this, I think what bothers me about this is it's almost too straight right here. But the, I don't want to tilt this part off because it's my favorite. So I think I probably need to leave it alone. The more I stretch it, the muddier it's gonna get. So anyway, um, planning to try to schedule a lot more videos in the upcoming year. I um, will be having a pretty intense semester with school. Um, and this coming few months, um, but I will be graduating in April, yay. And so hopefully after that, I will be a little bit more intentional about getting um, tutorials and videos and stuff up. Because uh, I watched copious amounts of those when I was first starting. Um, it helped me a lot. And although I'm certainly no pro, and I just messed up the side of this, I enjoy trying to pay it forward a little bit. Um, but it should be an exciting year. And of course, we do tumblers and other things too. So if you subscribe to our channel, you never know how many <laughs> different varieties of things that you will get. Um, but I would love it if you would subscribe and share, um, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I will be posting the video I did yesterday um, which didn't turn out exactly like I intended either, but that's, that's one of the things about fluid art is, uh, it'll really mess with your control issues, you know? You have, um, there's a certain level of skill that goes into it, but then at the end of the day, you don't entirely control how it comes out. So I think that's kind of the fun part is you can't entirely control it. And so it kind of makes it fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the painting. I'm also trying to work on getting us established on Etsy. Um, and pretty much everything that we paint is for sale unless it's a gift or something and I'm just involving you guys in the process. Um, I would like to offer any pieces that we, that we do to our subscribers and our social media followers first. Um, so if you are interested, please message me. 
You can leave a comment on YouTube or you can message us at hopedesignssat at gmail.com and me or my husband will get back to you. Uh, my husband also recently did a beautiful dining room table and we did a resin pour on the top of it and it really turned out gorgeous. So I'm hoping that we'll do more of those things in the future. But um, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great evening. Bye.